Welcome back guys. <clears throat> this is the uh, newest Manjaro uh, release 16.06. .06. This is the flagship. This is Manjaro XFCE. There were basically three uh, flagship editions XFCE, KDE, and I believe the net install is considered a flagship. All the others are considered a community editions. Now they are working to try to get uh, the 1606 incorporated into all of those community editions. So if you're interested in one of the community editions, I would just uh, <clears throat> check the uh, website and see if the 1606 has been implemented into the distribution or the flavor or the desktop that you're interested in. Now, <clears throat> this is the uh, basic install of the XFCE version. Um, as you can see, uh, let's see, I've got uh, H top running, and you, this is what you what uh, I'm consuming uh, with OBS running, OBS and my browser. So, um, 841 megs of RAM, about 20 to 25 percent of my processor. However, that's mostly OBS. If we take a look at a screenshot that I uh, took with nothing running. Um, this is just after the install, nothing running uh, basically except for HTOP and you can see that I have the 0.7% uh, some of the cores are not even being used and 482 megs of my 8 gigs of RAM. So uh, for resources it's pretty minimal now, out of the box, and I'm going to close out HTOP, out of the box, uh, this has uh, the whisker menu. I haven't modified it. I usually move the categories to the left. But if you take a look at the um, software, uh, it comes with a full, I haven't added anything except for, um, I added Shotwell, and I added um, OBS Studio and HTOP. Uh, other than that, everything that you see here uh, comes with it. As usual, it's a it's a uh, well uh, supplied uh, install, a uh, lot of software included. For development, you've got the usual. Education is just LibreOffice Math. You've got Steam and games, graphics. As I said, I added Shotwell. GIMP is included. LibreOffice Draw. Uh, internet, I. Uh, have not added anything everything you see here is out of the box multimedia I added OBS um, and as usual the Manjaro was configured for the uh, user repository so I fired up Yawert and uh, pulled in OBS easy uh, as easy as it gets if you are, have been reluctant to try Arch um, I would definitely give this uh, version, this Manjaro XFCE, a try. The um, distribution is excellent. Uh, even though Arch can be difficult, Manjaro has made it very easy for you. The install is very easy. Uh, during the install, if you prefer not to install Grub, a bootloader, you don't have to. Uh, that's one of the things I like about Manjaro, they give you a choice as to whether or not to install a bootloader. Um, I don't always need a bootloader because I'm do, I'm multi-booting, much more than dual booting. On this particular machine, I have probably, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six versions of Linux and Windows on this particular computer. So. I don't uh, require a bootloader in a lot of cases. I let one distribution handle all of the uh, booting uh, options. So my grub screen lists right now six versions of Linux and, and Windows 10 on this particular machine. Um, so the install goes very easy and you get a lot of uh, applications out of the box, LibreOffice, um, You've got the usual settings. We'll bring up the settings panel in one minute. Uh, and there are your system. Now for system, um, you've got the usual Manjaro uh, settings. Uh, they give you a lot of options for configuration. Now, 
let's see if we have, and I'm going to enlarge this a little bit, but let's see if Manjaro settings manager is included. Yes, so if you, if you look at Manjaro settings manager, um, there you can pretty much install any kernel you like. Now right now, the long-term support kernel, which is 4.4.12, that is installed and that is running, but I could upgrade to 4.56 or 4.61 very easily, just click install. Uh, I, I prefer to run the long-term support uh, kernel. Uh, but you've got a lot of other options for drivers. You've got hardware detection. Now, I, I used the, um, the uh, non-free drivers, which automatically installs NVIDIA. So everything is working fine. I don't really need to do anything with that. Uh, if I look into <clears throat> if I look into my uh, menu, uh, I will see NVIDIA. Let's see. I should see NVIDIA settings already installed. And I've got the 36419, which I believe is the latest driver released by NVIDIA for for Linux. So, uh, as you can see, you've got all the standard configuration options. Uh, there's really nothing left out. Uh, if you if you are used to XFCE on any uh, flavor of Linux, this will be you'll be right at home with this. Um, and as I said, it, the the install is very very easy. So that is Manjaro, the newest 1606. Uh, as I said, they are getting the uh, community releases uh, finished up, but it's a very, very easy install. If you haven't tried Arch, I advise you to go ahead and do it. There are a lot of things that I normally modify, which I have not modified. Now, one other thing that I, that I want to mention to you is I do have my iPhone, as you can see, my iPhone is connected and I have access to all of my files, videos, photos. So um, Manjaro comes configured right out of the box to uh, accept your iPhone. When you plug in your iPhone, it will give you a message on your iPhone screen asking if you trust this computer. Once you click on trust on your iPhone, all of your files will be available. So um, that makes it very easy because I uh, needed to copy some of my photos for another video that I'm doing, uh, photos that I shot with the uh, iPhone and I was able to do that. So, so guys, that is it. Uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. Again, this is Manjaro 1606 XFCE. Uh, two thumbs up, highly recommended. Um, I don't expect any issues at all with this version, and you can tweak it to your heart's content. Um, as I said, this is not the way it's going to stay. I will do some tweaking, but I think you guys already know how I prefer the desktop. So that is it. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for stopping by the channel, and I'll see you soon. Take care.